Now, like I said, self-defense situation, you're not going to be throwing a bunch of, you know, like, you're not going to be doing a bunch of, you know, a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, check hooks. I mean, maybe you're like super trained, whatever, or you're moving, whatever. You know, you're, you're, you're doing some, 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 uh, <laughs> some special moves. Some people are like, oh, I have a special move where I'm able to do some kind of gazelle punch or whatever. No, um, your best bet is to throw, let's keep it as simple as possible. Now, if you have the opportunity, someone's starting to punch at you, right? And you're able to, and then maybe counter that strike, sure. Uh, if you're trained, but most people, most of us, normal folk, lack the training unless you're in some gym or you're doing some special kind of training. You want to be able to keep it simple, stupid. That's why I say keep it simple, stupid. You don't need to be no black belt, no brown belt in jiu-jitsu or taekwondo. You just need to know the basics of how to defend yourself, defend your family. Nothing, nothing uh, too special, right? So if I want to learn, say, a couple of punches, for instance, a couple of punches, right? Maybe uh, uh, learning how to do some kind of a, a jab, right? And then maybe learn how to do a cross. Probably about the only two punches you really, really need to learn. Now, if you want to learn how to do some kind of a, some kind of a hook, you know, a hook punch, right? Then maybe. You're in close, whatever, and he's hitting you, whatever, and you're covering up, and you just throw a, a quick hook. Okay, that should be your backup punch. Um, you shouldn't really be doing a bunch of other things after that. Um, the, the whole point is to stay on your feet and not be rolling around and around somebody. If you're rolling around and around somebody, somebody can come up behind you, stomp you, right? Stomp you in the head. So try to keep the fight in, like if you're, a, you shouldn't be at a bar, but if you're out in public and somebody tries to fight you, then you should know maybe a couple of, a couple of techniques to stay on your feet, um, right? But you don't want to be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can do a, uh, some kind of a check hook with the guy. I'm going to do some fancy stuff. No, your whole thing is just you know, throw what you got to do and get out of there. First thing you should probably try to do is Maybe run, but you don't know what he has. He could have a gun on him. Um, if he has a gun on him, you're probably screwed. But running away, maybe his opportunity to shoot you in the back is easy, easier than if you're here and he's here and he's like thinking about taking out a gun, right? He's like reaching inside, you know, hey, I'm gonna get you, whatever. He maybe reaches inside. Maybe that's for your opportunity to, to blast him, right? Blast him in the face and then run. Running may not be your first option. That's all I'm saying. So, first option may be to blast them because he may be bring, pulling something, bringing something out, you know, and he's pulling something out to, to come at you with. And you need to be able to get in there and get him before he gets you because he can pull out a gun and shoot you, a knife, and stab you. So, um, in that situation, he's drunk, bludgeoning, he breaks a, a glass bottle, right? Now he's coming at you. Maybe take your belt off and, I don't know. But just learning a couple of punches um, is very effective, right? Um, but um, those three punches I recommend, and if you're gonna learn how to kick, uh, that's your last resort. Before kicks, I would do, probably I'd probably do elbows. That's a super close range. From here, I have a little bit of distance between him and me. Um, but, you know, close in, a quick elbow to the nose, right? Or, and by the way, with the elbow, same thing. Same technique, just turning your hips, core, keep your, your, knee, your knees loose and bent slightly, right? Just throw that elbow in there. But I'm turning, I'm still turning. My hips because that's where you're gonna get all your power from if you're trying to do this whole thing where you're like you have no power you gotta turn 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 just 
in Turner. Okay. Now, if you know forehead or knees, elbow, strongest points of the body, those are the most effective, most powerful parts of the body. Fists, separate second. It's fist, you can break fists, break fingers, sprain wrists, sprain fingers, because you guys are moving around and you're punch lips. What are you gonna do then? You can't just say, oh wait, my wrist is hurting. No, you have to use you have to use your elbows or your forehead, crack them in the nose, right? Or me. Once again, it's just straight, not this. Some people do this stuff. No, don't do that. It's crap. See that coming from a mile away. A straight knee to the chest, stomach, knee, uh, groin, whatever. Hip, 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 crack them in the hip with the knee. Works perfectly fine. And with that move, I'm still using my hips to thrust. Same concept. Okay. Same concept. Once again, if you're in close, he's got you, you got him. You guys are tussling, just so I gotta know with that. Or boom, this. This is probably better than this because your nose is still exposed. But boom, got that shirt, bring him in. Right now, with kicks, last resort. <laughs> but what I would do in that situation, throw in kicks, then we throw no fancy kicks, like, oh, I'm gonna do this first. This. This tornado kick or whatever, I can't even do that even if I want to. But I'm, if I'm going to be throwing some kind of a kick, I'm going to keep that would be just for distance to keep him away. If he's vulnerable, like you, you hit him, now I can throw in a kick to push him away even further and knock him off balance. But sitting there and he, you're squaring with him, he's squaring with you, and you try to throw in a kick, he's going to probably he could grab it out of pure luck. Come down on that thing like he's seen in MMA. Right? So in that situation, if I if I'm throwing some kind of a strike, boom. And what could be next? Boom. Maybe that. But that's like a follow-up strike. You don't want to be sitting there and trying to, okay, all right, bro, let's go, let's go. And you're throwing kicks, right? Um I don't recommend throwing kicks unless you're like, first of all, you can train people. Don't recommend it because they can see a back spinning kick coming from my way. Can't even do that myself. Don't need to know, don't need to know that, um, in my opinion. Um, there are other ways um, to throw something, right? Um, if I'm gonna do back spinning anything, um, just a back kick, I don't know. To me, I don't know if you can really be on, be on balance if he's moving around. Um, maybe some kind of a back strike like you guys have seen in some of my workout videos where, you know, maybe I throw some kind of a, throw some kind of a punch and I, I don't know, but it doesn't seem very effective and you can't really see your target. You're taking your, you're doing this whole thing. You really don't want to be doing that. So that situation, if I'm going to be throwing some kind of a kick, maybe that's a combination, right? Where I hit him. Like say, connect, connect, boom, hit him, and then I hit him again. Now I'm set up my back foot for a kick where I can send him cream away. So I hit him maybe in the face, chest, and then boom, I'm sending him flop into the ground, and then I'm running out of there. I don't want to be sitting there being like, like, you know, like a Taekwondo, and I can't even, I can't even do that, right? I throw my arm out there, like, for some reason, but, but, like I said, I don't want to be doing that because my training is very limited um, in that area. Um, like I said, some people, maybe they can, they, maybe they can throw a, some kind of a, a foot kick out there. Um, I don't recommend you do it unless you're trained. Do you stretch for the day? Because most people, I have to stretch now before I even attempt attempt kicks, right? Right? Breathe also when you're throwing a strike. Right? So I'm moving around. 
again. I'm not crossing my feet. Move it around. I need to switch. You should be able to switch, right? From here, here. See? I can see where I protect myself in any direction. I don't need to be doing this. Other, what's I learned in karate? <laughs> no. Don't make it that complicated. From here, next thing you know, it's friends. Come on, all I'm doing is dropping. Not, not even dropping. You really. Hands by the face as much as possible. It doesn't involve crossing your feet. So, here. Keeping your head off center. Keep your head off center so, so you don't get hit in the face. You don't want to get blasted at the same time you're blasting him. You want to be able to come out of that situation with the most advantages possible. So I'm throwing. Right. Now, I should still be able to fight from the opposite stance if I need to. If I need to switch it, which by the way, I just crossed my foot, so I don't want to do that. You know, if I'm moving and someone's coming behind me, just slide your foot, slide your foot around, right? You see some of those boxing techniques where they're, where they're moving, and they're just pivoting. So that's just my recommendation. Up to you.